The Nigerian police has paraded 26 suspected criminals, which include five women in Abuja. Among them are kidnappers, amroba, student kidnapper, impersonator, and others. Addressing pressmen, the police public relations officer, CP Frank Mba, and IRT commander T Tunji Disu said, one AK-49 rifle, three AK-47 rifles, seven magazines, and 157 rounds of live ammunition smartphone were also recovered from the suspects. Today we are parading a total of 26 suspects. Five of them are women. The suspects are being paraded for offenses ranging from kidnapping, armed robbery, unlawful possession of prohibited firearms, impersonation and fraud related offenses all a total of 16 assorted firearms were recovered from these suspects including one AK-49 rifle and three AK-47 rifles. Seven AK-47 AK magazines and a total of 157 rounds of live ammunition. Also recovered from these suspects, are assorted gadgets, mostly smartphones from both the Samsung and the iPhone family. However, CP Frank Mba wants school to take responsibility on students in their care. If not, they will be held responsible and also Securities in schools must be properly trained. We want to advise proprietors of schools, particularly owners of private nursery, primary as well as secondary schools in our country, to know that the old parents and the children under their care significant amount of responsibility they owe them a significant duty of care and they must discharge this responsibility effectively we expect those who operate private schools and even public schools to develop and put in place appropriate security protocols that will regulate or guide the dropping of children in their schools, as well as the pickup of these kids. People should not be allowed to come at random, gain access into the school, either forcefully or surreptitiously, fake out innocent children from those schools. People should not be allowed to come in, lure, entice, and trap or in any other way take these innocent kids out of these schools we also expect that persons who work as security personnel in those schools must be properly trained they must have the capacity to ask the right questions and they must have the capacity to spot the red flags and raise alarm or take appropriate actions when they are in doubt.
next time this kind of incident happen in any school we will not just end in arresting the suspects we will go after the proprietors of the school and prosecute them under the appropriate laws under the appropriate sections of our laws however abdul karim kamaluddin confirmed the story my name is Abdurrahim Kamaluddin. I works, I works phone and laptops, and I'm 24 years old. I was arrested because of I abducted this is uh, a son of nine years old from a school, telling him that I will teach him how to use a computer. Before, after then, I now take him from the school, and these are the money I demanded for for how long did you hold the boy for only one day okay when you could you got this boy was he inside the school or outside the school he's inside the school at the school premises right here by that 29 year old a 200 level dropout medical student of bayaro university kanu an impersonator who claimed to be i mean a use of Ahmed, serving at National Hospital Abuja, was paraded by the Nigerian police. Rekia also alleged to have committed out, out of 419. Rekia Beda, but she goes with the alias of Dr. Amina Yusuf Ahmed. As a matter of fact, she has got an ID card bearing Dr. Amina Yusuf Ahmed. Dr. Amina Yusuf Ahmed. And this ID card claims that this doctor works at the National Hospital here in Abuja. Rekia Beida, alias Dr. Amina Yusuf, goes from state to state, from hotels to hotels, from business premises to business premises, duping people, obtaining goods under false pretenses, and making payments with fake bank alerts. She has so perfected her act and of course, with the social status of medical doctors in this country, being a woman and being somebody that communicates clearly and convincingly, she has no problem developing and building trust instantly. These are some of the products she bought recently. These are all... high range phones in case you think they are just empty packs these are not just empty packs and so and many others She has a history of having committed these crimes in Kwara, in Plato, and now in Abuja. In fact, preliminary investigation shows that in Kwara, she obtained gold under same pretense, went to prison briefly, came out, and continued in the same trade. Her name's uh, Ricky Abeda. I'm from Okene, Kogi State. I was arrested because um, I was pretending to be a doctor and uh, a lot. Um, I go to like a shop and pretend I want to get something and just make a halat to them and go. Why they give me, some give me the product and some don't if they have not seen their money. 
For how long have you been doing this? For like a year, six months now. How long ago were you arrested in Kwara? That was last year. O October last year. Okay, can you tell us what you did there? Um, um, I have a business people there in Kwara State that gives us um, this jalabia and gold to sell, then we turn money back to them after we've sold. So after I took those items, I sold and I didn't return back the money to them. That was why I was arrested. How about Plateau State? Plateau State is a friend that gave me um, the sum of nine, 950000 for um, a pretense business that um, he wants to do a farm business. I should help him get cows and take to the slaughter to sell and return his money and I did not return the money back to him. How old, how educated are you? I dropped at 200 level at Dubai Arrow University, medicine. Obat, 31 year old graduate of mass communication, music producer, was also paraded by the Nigerian police with an unlawful position of arm and ammunition. My name is Robert Stanley. I am a music producer and I'm 31 years old. Don't your mouth. I'm not hearing you, please. Uh, what's your academic qualification? My first degree holder. In what field? Mass communication. Okay, why were you arrested? I was arrested for snapping and sending the snapping and sending of uh, bullets and magazine. Uh, I threatened a certain man with them. A soldier friend of mine and giving them to keep for him that when he's going back to his base, he will come and pick them up. So he left for his base without picking them up. So that is how they were in my custody. As an educated person, don't you know that there's an implication in having this thing and using it to threaten somebody? I no, I thought it was going to be briefly in my custody and it would pick them up almost immediately. Please open your mouth. Do you demand any money from the person you threatened? Yes, sir. How much? 2.3 million. Okay. A suspected bandit facilitator, Muslim Abubakar, and four women from Zaria paraded by the Nigerian police force in Abuja. One of them, Mariam Abubakar, 35-year-old, married, who has a boyfriend among the bandits at the hideout, also produced a sex ring for the bandit by taking women to them and running errand was paraded by CP Frank Mba and IRC Commander Tunji Disu. One of them, Mariam Abubakar, 35-year-old, married, who has a boyfriend among the bandits, at the hideout also produced a sex ring for the bandit by taking women to them and running errand was paraded by CP Frank Mba and IRC commander Tunji Disu. How long did you get arrested for kidnapping? Isa. Isa Ibrahim. Isa Ibrahim. Can you tell me how long did you get arrested? Why did that one day get tired of thinking that? Wow, say they don't think I know my mom. Rashidu. Rashidu. Okay, she has a boyfriend among the kidnappers who is called Isa, and uh, uh, a younger brother who is called Rashidu. That's Kekin Tabas, what are you in the suke? Eh, not Taba. They can so come on so now. Naja so good. That she has visited them in the forest camp. Uh, at least four times. May they make it a Muslim? Ma, when they make it a Muslim, I think she did it a high one in a Jesuna. Ah, Matan saw and get a high for Kiki a Jesuna? Matan can and she. Okay, Matan can. Okay. Okay, in essence, she, she assists them to run errands. One of them's wife put to bed. She was the one who attended the naming ceremony.